surely you've seen an Alamo Draft House in the suburbs, in the city, or even outside of DFW. Well, today we're learning what makes your experience there so special and which movies we should add to our watch list this spring. There is nothing better than going to a theater to watch a good movie with movie theater popcorn and all the works. Well, Alamo Draft House Cinema enhances that experience by adding a food and beverage menu right at your seat so you never have to miss a thing. Here to share more about what we can expect this spring is president of Alamo Draft House Cinema North Texas, Jordan Michael. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Hello, I'm good. How are you? Thank you for being here. This is such a unique concept it's all over I, I mentioned i thought it was like a little local thing because all the alamo draft house cinemas have a local tie in each of the cities that they're in right um movies what can we expect this spring man we can finally expect some real blockbusters again you know we're coming out of a slow season uh but starting with dune part two which is just going to be a tremendous film for the entire industry but specifically for our fans um we're going to go big with dune we're doing some commemorative pine glasses that you can get with your yeah. ticket um, a specialty menu, um, some a special popcorn, a hummus plate, things like that to really kind of enhance the whole yeah. experience, kind of really make you, you know, taste the sand uh, mm -hmm. in that movie. Uh, so we're really excited for Dune. And then another one for the nostalgia lovers is the new Ghostbusters iteration is coming out, Frozen Empire. Um, Frozen Empire is going to be fun. We have a cocktail that we always bring back. Um, it's a throwback to your old high C Ecto coolers. We have an Ecto cooler for the kids and we definitely have an adult <laughs> version yeah. of the Ecto cooler for the, for the adults. Um, and so we're looking very forward to Frozen Empire. That one's going to be a huge one for us and that rounds out about all of March. March is a uh, March is big looking month. very big month for us yeah and then we'll get through April we'll get a couple you know independent films like Civil War um, from A24 um, and then Challengers um, the Zendaya flick um, but then it's all about May. May is Fall Guy. Fall Guy's gonna be Ryan Gosling, Emily Blunt, great rom-com, has some real kind of bullet train vibes to it. Okay. Looks like it's just gonna be a, a fun movie that, you know, both parties are gonna wanna go see, right? And then uh, Furiosa comes out, um, about a furious woman played by Anna Taylor-Joy from um, the Mad Max saga. Yeah. Uh, so that's gonna be just, you know, big explosions, high impact, just something you have to see at a theater. You need to see surrounded by people that are into it as, as much as you are. Um, and and then finally summer comes and we get some kiddo movies. Uh, we're gonna get the, the next Inside Out movie from Pixar, which the first one just, you know, tugs at you. And so we'll, I imagine we'll see We'll see Riley grown up a little bit and see kind of what the controls in that brain looks like, uh, yeah. you know, at that age. So, it, you know, it's going to be a fun, a fun next three months of movies. And, and it just keeps climbing after that. Like movies are back the second yes, half of 2024. I, I always say there's like seasons to certain people are like, it's wedding season. It's this season. It's always movie season. It feels like. Oh, yeah. You can always find something in the theaters. Except right? for when the kids go back to school. Man, <laughs> oof, September's rough. But other than that, man, yeah, it's a, there's always a reason for a good movie movie um, and you know there's always a holiday Monday so you yeah. know, that's always good okay we mentioned um, the fact that each location kind of has a unique tie and, and might be different than another location you might go to tell me about some of the special programming at the Alam Draft House cinemas okay yeah so um, we definitely we definitely what we are rare where we commit an entire screen to playing repertory content old content you know sometimes we're playing just a straight screening um, in Richardson we have a huge following for Sunday Cinema Classics, uh, and so we play some some real nostalgia pieces, uh, you know, from some eras, um, you know, some gone eras, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so we're doing a, a whole series of Sunday Cinema Classics at Richardson. That's something that really performs. It's a great brunch screening. We offer a nice brunch menu uh, in those screenings. Um, and it's all about this year we're, we're going to honor some years of really great films. 1994 was a really great year of film, so we're unpacking a lot of 1994. We have Little Women, Pulp Fiction, The Crow, Forrest Gump, Reality Bites, uh, Interview with the Vampire, and Shawshank Redemption. Just, you know, ones, I mean, I'm 39, so these are the ones that were like real defining for my childhood. 1994, that was right about the time movies really just opened up to me. I got to like hear an F word in a movie for the first time, you know. <laughs> And so a lot of these movies really pull on that. And we're also looking back at 1989, where uh, True Beverly Hills, Tim Burton's Batman, uh, Pet Cemetery, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Uh, and we're going to do a lot of events around that. Some of these will turn into movie parties where we actually give you props. So and we, cool. And we have yeah. a host there 
for you so to tell you how to use those preps interactively with the screening uh, always a cocktail with those events uh, so yeah we'll really just try to bring back all the fills from the original screenings of those movies yeah amazing so many amazing things going on and, and you can watch some of those movies at home if you want to but it makes a world of a difference oh. when you go into the cinema and have that full experience oh yeah okay so a few, few takeaways from today each of these movies might have a unique cocktail or, or menu item, might have a different experience. So definitely if somebody wants to see what is happening for a movie that they're looking forward to, where can they go? Oh, well, they can go to our website and find out everything you need to know, drafthouse.com, or you can just follow us uh, at Alamo DFW. Amazing. Jordan, thank you so much for of giving course. us a lowdown on everything going on at Alamo Draft House Cinema this season. If you want more information on everything you saw here today, we will have that all linked up on our website as well at CW33.com.